Okay, we're going to pick up on number 6, and just like x equals to some number is a vertical, this is also a special case. y equals any number is also a special case, and it's a horizontal line. So no matter what, if you see y equals and no other variable, it's going to be a horizontal line at that value. So you go to the y-axis, and you go to y equals 5, and you draw a horizontal line. And like we said, if you had to see a visual XY table for this, it says Y equals 5. And that's all it tells us. Well, Y equals 5 everywhere for every value of Y. So then if I picked random values for X, I could plot those as points. And that would be this point, this point, and this point. But mainly we know this. We have this memorized, so it doesn't take a XY table for those special cases. Now, number seven, if you notice, it has both variables. So it's not one of our known special cases. We're going to actually make us an XY table and pick values for X, which I'm just going to pick the easy values, negative 1, 0, and 1. I have the freedom to choose any numbers I want, but those are just the easy ones to work with. So I have y equals negative 4x. The first time I'm going to substitute negative 1 in for x. So then y equals positive 4. Okay, that's my first substitution. Now I'm going to do it again. So I have y equals negative 4x, but this time I'm going to do 0. Well, that's just going to give me 0. And then one more time, y equals negative 4 times x. I'm going to put a 1 in. So y equals negative 4. And I want to plot those ordered pairs. So I have negative 1, positive 4. Negative 1, positive 4 is here. I have the ordered pair 0, 0 goes through the origin. And I have the ordered pair 1 negative 4, which is here. So once we've plotted those points, we want to try to sketch our line through them. And so that's the graph of y equals negative 4x. All right, number 8. Since that one's not solved for y, first thing I want to do is solve it for y. So subtract 4x from both sides. So 5y equals negative 4x plus 15. Now we want to get y by itself, so divide everything by 5. y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. Okay, now that I have it solved for y, I want to come over here and I want to make an xy table, and I want to pick values for x. Usually, just a common rule of thumb, I do negative 1, 0, and 1. But over time, you pick up and you see some uh, things that make it easier for you to solve these problems. Well, I've noticed if whenever I solve for y, if I have a fraction in the, in the y, if I use multiples of that fraction of the denominator where this denominator is a 5, I've realized if I use multiples of 5, I won't have to deal with as many, usually, not every single time, but I usually won't have to deal with as many fractions in my answer. Because it's really hard for me to plot fractions over here, especially when the values are really small. So instead of negative 1, 0, and 1, because I saw that there was a fraction, a 5 in the denominator, I just chose to use um, factors of that over here. And that's just an option. You don't have to do that. You can use negative 1, 0, and 1, but you're just going to have um, different numbers to work with in fractions. So if I take y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. And my first time, I'm going to put a negative 5 in, which I'm going to make it a fraction. And then this cancels this, and I just have a negative 1 left. So I have negative 4 times a negative 1 is a positive 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. OK, and now I'm going to do y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. This time I'm going to put 0 in. 
and you're just going to lose your fraction, and you get 0 plus 3, which is just 3. That's always our easiest one. And then we have y equals, one more time, negative 4 fifths x plus 3. And this I'm going to put a positive 5 in. So then this 5 cancels with this 5, and I multiply straight across, so I have negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. Okay, so I want to graph those. I have negative 5, 7, 5, so I'm off my graph a little bit. And then I have 0, 3, and then I also have 5, negative 1. And then we want to draw a line through those. Okay, so number 9. I'm going to move on to number 9. It's already solved for y, so I'm just going to pick any values. And since there's no fractions in this, there's no fractions, I'm just going to stick to my typical negative 1, 0, and 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 plus 1 is going to be 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, if I, the next time, if I put... 0 in, I have a negative 4 times x plus 1. This time if I substitute 0 in, right here I'm going to get 0 plus 1, which is just 1. And then I have y equals negative 4 x plus 1. And this time if I put a 1 in from this one, I get negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. Okay, I want to plot these order pairs on my coordinate system, so I have negative 1, that's negative 1, 5, that's our first one, I have 0, 1, that's our second one, and then I have 1, negative 3, which is right here, and then we want to graph a line through them. And our last problem, we have number 10, it's already solved for y. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick values. Now usually I pick negative 1, 0, and 1, but since I see this one has a fraction in it, my denominator is a 3, I choose multiples of 3. Sometimes this helps and sometimes it doesn't. So I have, but many times it will help you with the fractions. So I have y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4. The first time I'm going to substitute a negative 3 in there. If I put it over 1, when you multiply fractions, you can cross-cancel, divide by 3, divide by 3, and then multiply straight across. A negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2, and then I have minus 4, which is negative 2. Okay, and then I'm going to do it again. So I have y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4, and I'm going to put a 0 in, so that becomes 0 minus 4, which is just negative 4, and I'm going to continue down here, so y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4 for my last one, and I'm going to put a positive 3 in. When I cross cancel for multiplying, this becomes a 1. Multiply straight across, and I get negative 2 minus 4 is a negative 6. So now I want to plot these three. Negative 3, negative 2 is here. 0, negative 4, and then 3, negative 6. It's about right there, so then we're graph a line through them. Actually, I missed that one a little bit, so I scooted over some. Okay, now that's better.